We're in the Altai region and we're going fishing in the canyon of the Pishanaya River. The Pishanaya is a tributary of Siberia's River Ob and its source lies on the slopes of the Siminsky Ridge in Altai's mountainous region. Trout, salmon, grayling, and, of course, the river lion that is Taman Salmon. Taman isn't just a fish, it's a dream. It's a cherished trophy. So we finally found a spot to fish at, and we got help finding it from our guide, Sergei Semyonov, a traveler, hunter, fisherman, a man who once almost met a yeti, or at least saw its tracks, followed them, but didn't quite manage to catch it. Sergei Semyonov is well known in the Altai region. He's a scientist, traveler, and local historian. He knows the history of this region very well, its legends and its stories. Many of them are based on fact, whilst many more remain mysteries. But Sergei is capable of unraveling them, largely because he's traveled extensively in the Altai region. Let's get dressed then. What does a fisherman need in this season? Wellingtons and the fishing tackle itself. Let's start with the boots. You haven't got any socks? A fisherman should never forget to take woolen socks, otherwise his feet will freeze. I haven't forgotten. Trying to catch a big fish like the Thai men is a real sporting event. What's more, in order to catch it, you need a special license. We, of course, have such a license. The main thing isn't just to catch up some fish for your supper. This is a real duel with a clever and strong opponent, and there's no guarantee that you'll come off as a victor. And you can't use any old fishing rod. Your tackle has to be first rate and very reliable. We're going to use a spinning rod today. Yes. What bait do you use to catch Thai men? Usually spoon bait or a wobbler. We can try a mouse later. I've heard that a mouse is an old Russian fishing trick and it's often used in these mountain streams. Tell us, what's the trick with the use of the mouse? Well, it's not a real mouse, of course. It's a fake mouse. Squirrels, mice, they migrate in the autumn to find food. The mice swim across the rivers when migrating. I can imagine these hordes of mice fording rivers and the Taiman just waiting for them. No, it's just resting on the stones somewhere and then some food swims past and he can't resist it. There's a fodder shortage here this year, a bad crop of cedar nuts. So the squirrels really are migrating and they really are swimming in packs. But is the Taiman fish really strong enough to handle a squirrel which is quite large? A big Taiman can handle animals bigger than squirrels. For example, it can handle a small fox, say. You've seen a Taiman that big? We caught a Taiman once and in its belly were two puppies, two quite big puppies. The Thai men itself was about 30 kilograms. What kind of fish is the Thai men? Is it crafty? Is it merciless? Is it just relentless? What kind of character has it got? It really does differ from fish to fish.